Hi guys, assalamualaikum. Welcome to my channel. I'm Shalza. You may know me as Brown Girl Does Makeup. Thank you for clicking on my video. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate if you subscribe and if you enjoy the content, please give my videos a thumbs up. So I have a look fantastic unboxing for you today. I said in my last one, I think it was February's one, um, that I'm considering stopping my subscription, and I was because my circumstances were a bit iffy. Basically. My job ended and I was like, oh my god, I can't find a new one and alhamdulillah, I found a new job. Um, so, I don't know, it depends. The last box wasn't the best. Uh, I didn't unbox it because life just got in the way trying to find a job and etc etc. But I've seen online what contents are in this box. So, I'm in a way glad I didn't unsubscribe. But when I look at it properly... I might have second thoughts. So here's the unboxing for April and as usual you have the leaflets. I always recycle these, I don't use them. I do keep the tissue paper because I'm one of those people who think I, it might come in handy one day. And this is what we have in the box. So I will start with this one. Obviously this is on the boycott list so I'm not going to talk about it. LMS I'm not sure if it's on the boycott list and I have used this cleanser before and I quite like it so and I'm glad I get cleansers because I seem to run out of cleansers a lot. Rituals I'm not sure if it's on the boycott list as well I need to double check that. I have used the Sakura fragrance before and I did really enjoy it so I don't mind a body cream I'm always in the market for body cream so this is a paradox volume blow dry spray. We have received paradox products before again I'm not sure if it's on the boycott list but I haven't tried the shampoo and conditioner that I received or the hair mask yet. I was kind of saving it in case I needed it for traveling and stuff, but I still haven't traveled. So I'm thinking I might just use it up and see what it's like. And if it's not on the boycott list, it may be a potential repurchase if it's any good. Oh, and here's the card. And then we have a glove beauty sponge. I have quite a few beauty sponges, but... I am trying to change them more regularly so this may come in handy and then have, we have a Ciate London Velvet Skin Cream Blush oh this is a blush in fancy one moment let me just open it up so this is the cream blush I'm not sure if it's this color I'm a bit scared to open it up I don't really open products I'm not sure of the colors of because if it's not one that I think it's gonna suit me I tend to resell on vintage I'll have my vintage link down below if you're interested in anything I'm reselling and I want to see online what it looks like before I consider opening it up and then we have a face mask this is the beauty pro squalene nourishing sheet mask I don't mind a sheet mask but I have so many and I haven't used them yet so yeah uh, I can always try this out at some point here are all the products laid out and this is kind of what I expect from Look Fantastic Beauty Boxes because we have a good array of products here and obviously they have thrown in an additional product because usually it's just five products but we have seven products this time around which is really nice and I, in a way I'm glad I didn't unsubscribe this month because I do think I'll get a lot of use out of most of these products and again I think this month has been one of the better months because we have like a tool, a makeup product, hair product and some skincare and obviously the additional perfume which is really nice. So I think if all the boxes were like this, I'll definitely keep it. But if they are like February, March boxes going forward, I may continue to, I mean, I may consider unsubscribing. I'm not sure. I do like unboxing them and I do like seeing what comes in them. And I do genuinely keep some of the products, but not all the time. So it really depends, I guess. It depends on what month it is. But yeah, I do think this is a really good box. Let me know if you think this is a good value for money box. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.